ready. Okay, guys. What I have here is a Texas rat snake and a pool snake. I've been asked several times of how do you tell the difference in the two. Now this is a very dark Texas rat snake. I'm using it because it's actually kind of nice. It doesn't try to eat me. Uh, the other thing is it's actually in blue too. So the pattern is a little duller than normal, but this is still within the normal range you might find in Texas rat snake. Let me show you some of the differences. Let's look at the pattern. As you can see, pattern is much different on these guys. This is a wider, uh, more of a darker pattern. It's much bigger than this one. And this guy's much smaller uh, sm squares and much more evenly distributed. The sides are a little different also. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, see the, the double row on the bull snake on the bottom. And the Texas rat usually has like one row of, uh, of uh, markings down the side. Let's look at their head. Look at their heads. Their heads are, come here buddies. Come here guys. And look at the shape of the head. Now normally you can't tell a lot by the triangular shape, but overall look, especially the nose of these guys, you see the bull snake is much more pointy and the Texas rat snake's a lot more round on the hedge. And the bull snakes can use that nose a little bit to dig a little bit with and push push uh, dirt around. They're pretty cool about that. And don't be don't be uh, uh, fooled. These guys can actually flare their head out a lot. They look like they almost have no, no neck on them at all. And this guy has a little bit of a triangular shape to it or a little bit of a neck. But both of these can flatten their head out and make it look really triangular shaped very easily. So uh, also, the bull snake is probably called a bull snake because of this. There's like a little raised area between the eyes right here. It's hard to see. Let's see if we can go straight onto the camera. You might be able to see it's kind of raised a little tiny bit. And that's like the boss of a bull, like a regular you know, cow bull. So they kind of call these bull snakes sometimes because of that. I believe that's the reason. And if you look too, if you look closely to the skin of these guys, you'll notice, let's get a good spot here. You'll notice that the bull snake on the bottom, the light colored one, has heavily keeled scales, which means each scale has a little ridge down the center of it. And the Texas rat snake sometimes has a little bit of keeling down the center, and it usually fades away on the sides. But they're very much lightly, more lightly keeled than the bull snake is. And if you look right, he's kind of iridescent, really cool colors. I don't know if the camera's picking up that, but uh, they look really cool. So there's you a good guide between the bull snake and the Texas rat. In fact, there's one other thing I'll show you. Look at the belly patterns. They're a little different too. Not terribly different. The other thing to note, the bull snake is very light colored, but some bull snakes are very dark. I've seen some that are just as almost as dark as this Texas rat. As you can see, there's some pattern on the, on the Texas rat, but pretty decent pattern on the bull snake tail. He doesn't want to cooperate. Well, let's quit.